the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire. For why believers are poor is lack of productivity and excellence in daniel chapter 5 let's read 12 to 14. daniel chapter 5 the bible speaking about this gentleman called daniel it says for us and as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding interpreting of dreams showing of hard sentences dissolving of doubts were found in the same daniel whom the king named belshazzar now let daniel be called and he will show the interpretation this is not just a man i hope you know that there were many dreamers but there was something about this this gentleman called daniel he added excellence to his value the bible says and then was Daniel brought up before the king. Follow carefully now. And the king spake and said, Daniel, art thou that Daniel, which art of the children of captivity of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of Jerry? 14. I have even heard of thee, that the spirit of the gods is in thee, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in you. Now, I don't have the time to read further. I would have shown you that it took more than the ability to interpret the dream for the king to hear Daniel. His composure, his understanding protocol, he kept quiet and allowed the king to speak. And when it was time, he said, oh king, I respect you, but please let your gift be kept. He told the king, my value is greater than your gift don't bait me with gifts have your reward to yourself nevertheless i will interpret it i am more concerned with problems than money and the rewards he later got was greater than what the king gave him because if he had collected this that's what most people would do so it takes more than being valuable you need to be excellent and excellence would demand rejecting certain temporary rewards to get other nobler and superior rewards are we together for instance when someone is valuable and decides to steal from his master let's say a thousand dollars five thousand dollars and run away whereas that man planned to give him an estate or to make him a shareholder of his company you see the kind of foolishness that many people do and he will run away and someone else will steal what he's told so you see it's two zero now he's back to square zero and he will be angry that they stole what he stole. <laughs> Lack of productivity and excellence. I submit to you that church people need to be mentored to understand the value of excellence. Are we together now? Compromise on quality is prevalent, especially among believers. You give believers projects to handle and you will see all shades of compromises and we will cover everything in the name of Jesus and using the guise of similarity of faith whether you give them jobs you give them contracts most believers do not want to bend over backward to deliver with excellence and then those who are in positions of authority and influence who are believers go through all kinds of pressure why would you not give your fellow believer this road? Why would you not give him this contract? Why would you not give him this one? And at the end of it, you will find out that it's the same believers that keep causing pain for so many people because of their lack of, their lack of uh, uh, this thing. I've had that kind of experience myself where you can trust people in the name of believers and say, okay, let me support you with this, handle this project. And it, it is a total mess that comes back. Mess with an entitlement mentality on top. Are we together now? And then sometimes you are pushed to have to make do with unbelievers because they, they, are, they are basis for for relating with you is purely contractual and they know that if they compromise they have themselves to blame so they will give the highest level of excellence there is someone learning the absence 
You see believers produce something and they cannot go and package it well. They will wrap it in one polythene and just write, maybe Jesus is Lord on it. Now, I'm not saying that is wrong. And I'm not saying the statement, but it's, it's a mockery. The name you are putting there should not carry that kind of packaging. And sometimes it costs next to nothing. It's just ignorance. Because most times we are very proud. We cannot bend over backwards to ask, how can I make this happen? We fall in the guise of, I have the Holy Spirit. The unbelievers don't have the Holy Spirit. But they have a mind that is working. And when it was time for Moses to have knowledge, God sent him to Egypt for knowledge. Even though Moses had a covenant with God, when it had to do with power and results and anointing, he didn't need Egypt. But when it had to do with the wisdom to understand the cosmos, the same thing happened to Joseph. Do you notice that when God wants to give his people secular enlightenment, he will always send them to Egypt? Are you learning now? Many believers are not excellent. Someone, for instance, will have a store or a shop and sit down and be claiming, in the name of Jesus, I will be the leading store. You wake up by 10 o'clock. And someone will be kind enough to call you and say, our fellowship needs 30 cans of malt. And you say, look, I'm, I'm tired. You drag yourself as a man as if you are pregnant and open the shop and then now argue and say, I don't have change. Come back later on. And by 5 o'clock, you change and say, I am going to church. It's a flimsy reason, flimsy excuse. You cannot hire an apprentice because you want all the profit to yourself. And yet there is somebody all around. He has designed a system 24 hours is available. He put Christian, Muslims, atheists all together. So when it's time for prayer, the other one is there making sure it happens. If it's time for... <laughs> Say productivity. Please shout it. Say excellence. excellence. We are very small-minded as believers and we think it does not matter because we compare ourselves from our little backgrounds and we just say, oh, I'm making this, I'm making that. Oh, I want to go into fishery, I want to go into fish business. And you just leave your fish in the bucket and keep calling people to come and buy it. How many will, will kings come, will I come and reach out into a bucket or, a, 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 you know, Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.